What you're really saying is that you men are superior in every way to all women. Well, that's putting it very simplistically, but basically, yes. Yeah. It's really hard to explain what it was like growing up in the 50s. We were conditioned to be servants to men. All of us were hijacked in this kind of like domestic nightmare. Ah! has been run by men. That repression of the 50s was really kind of exploding. I felt like I got hit with a sledgehammer. This incredible conversion experience. I remember thinking, we can start the revolution with this. This'll do. It was not a top-down thing, it was a bushfire, it was a grass fire. Battling for abortion rights, childcare, simple things of women not being allowed in the public bar. I think men feel women's liberation is a threat to their manhood. And it really is a threat to their manhood because their manhood is phony. Get the heart of power! Every time you're put down, tell them to go suck their own up. The press was not interested in women unless there was a cat fight. How far can we work within a system that we need to get rid of? Fighting each other over reform versus revolution. Lesbians in the women's movement were seen as a hindrance. I found a lot of women's groups really racist. I mean, an unconscious racism. The most oppressed people in this country is the black women. They were singling out behaviours within the movement. We all ask ourselves, is that me? People who make revolutions get burnt, but it's also completely exhilarating. <laughs> A small band of people can change the world. Women should always band together. Whenever you have a chance, band together. <laughs>